Hey guys, it's Cindy Stewart and I want to share just a little quick word for you guys tonight. I'm getting ready for a prophetic night uh, that we have once a month on Friday nights. You can check out the event if you're interested. It starts at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. It's at our Facebook page, We Are The Gathering, and there's a Zoom. So you can Zoom in with the um, password. Anyhow, that's not what I came to talk about. I'm preparing for tomorrow's message and, I mean, Sunday's message. And uh, I'm going to talk about the God factor. But as I was preparing, I came across this little phrase and did some research on it. And it's out of Genesis 12. And I want to talk about getting out in order to get in. Hey, Diana. Good to see you. Hey, Michelle. We miss your smiling face uh, here. I know you're coming home soon. But let me talk about we got to get out to get in. And... We know the story of Abraham and God came to Abraham and he tells him, get yourself out of your country, away from your kinsmen and away from your father's house and go to the land I will show you and I will make you a great nation. I will bless you. I will make your name great and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you. I will curse those who curse you. And, you, and by you, all families, all families of the earth will be blessed. Well, I was doing some research on this and the Lord told Abraham or Abram at the time to get out. And then he told him, this is what's going to happen when you get out. So the promises were, of God were based on Abraham getting out of his familiar, getting out from his family's territory, getting out of the inheritance that he would normally, normally had acquired. He had to get out of everything surrounding him in order to get into the promises God had for him. And I just love that. And there's a there's a whole uh, Hebrew phrase about that. It's uh, lika, uh, uh, laka. I think that's correct. I, I listened to it earlier, but I forgot already. And it means that there's an urgency. It's not about oh, you know, go ahead when you get around to it, pack up and go. There was an urgency. It's it's a phrase that says go forth, go forth. And, and there's an urgency in understanding where God has us right now, that we may be in a familiar situation where God is calling us to get out so we can get into the promises he's given us. You know, the past couple of weeks, the promises of God have been just uh, being spoken into my heart. It's like everything I read uh, the promises of God is highlighted. So I, I'm encouraging, get your promises out, declare over them and ask God, uh, am I where I need to be or do I need to get out in order to get in? Hey, Lisa, Michelle, it's so good to see you. Um, so, so press into this word. Press into God, help me to get out of the things that I'm... Um, used to in order for me to get in to where you want me to go. So I got to run. Like I said, we're going to do prophetic night tonight. You can uh, look on our, we, on, we are the gathering on our Facebook page and, and look under the events and there's a, a Zoom number and a password if you want to jump in. But uh, I love you guys. Thank you so much for listening. And I just want to release that, uh, that visibility of God. That, that he will be visible to you in what you read and what you see and what you're thinking, that his presence will be so visible, that his words will be so clear that you'll know exactly what the next step is. Hey, Daylene. Hey, Grant. Yeah, so Gene uh, Kate is on here. He's ready for prophetic night tonight. He's one of our uh, prophets that's going to release prophecy over everyone. So we just release that now over you. Um, God is getting you out. He's showing you who he is. He's visibly manifesting to you in order to get you into the promises he's given you. Love you guys. Thanks a lot.